Hello my friends. Welcome back to Kyle's Film Garage. So today is Roddy Piper's birthday. It is April 17th and I have a story about Roddy Piper. I had the honor, the pleasure of working with him in a movie called The Chair. So on our little walk in Hollywood today, I'll tell you about it and we'll see the sights as I go around. So uh, let's get right to it. So, where are you, Kyle? Well, we're walking towards Sunset Boulevard and La Brea. And I need some coffee. So, I haven't gone to Starbucks in a little while. So that's, uh, that's, that's gonna be first. Because if we're going on a walk, you gotta have coffee on this beautiful day as we're uh, walking. Got some, some new construction. Let's see, so this is a, a 68 Chevy. So, I mean, I'm, I'm in, uh, in Hollywood, so they're trying to sell this. I don't know where you are, but if you're, you're in the market for a 68 Chevy van, it's cool. It, it's like, a, like the cartoon Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, that's what I'm looking for. That's awesome, little van. All right, so if anybody ends up getting that van, you got to tell me that you got it and that uh, and how cool it is. So, yeah. Anyway, so where are we? So we are at De Longpra and Sycamore, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to La Brea this way first by this construction. If you've been with me before, you know that as we're coming up to La Brea, on the left is the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, and on the right is the Jim Henson studio. Pretty cool, so we're gonna go see Kermit here in a second. American Academy of Dramatic Arts. See how dramatic that shot was? That's right, that's right. And this is the Jim Henson studio right here. The Jim Henson studio was originally Charlie Chaplin's, which is pretty cool. They have a, a little a picture of him on the entrance of the door, so we'll see that in a second. But there's Kermit, tipping his hat to Hollywood. Yeah, so, so this is what it used to be. Chaplin, Charlie Chaplin studio, built in 1917. Right. Got a little reflection going, but there's Charlie. All right, let's go get some coffee, and then I'll, I'll tell you the story. So where is this Starbucks, Kyle? We are at La Brea and Sunset right now. So if you come visit Hollywood, you'll know that there's a Starbucks right here. Not that there's not like a Starbucks everywhere, but uh, it's right across the street. So let's do that. Mission Ice Coffee Unlocked. All right, here's the story. So back in the day, I was on Facebook and a, I saw a friend of mine, Ezra Buzzington, um, who you would know. I'll see if I can't find a picture for you. Um, yeah, yeah, as the, uh, yeah. He's been in a bunch of stuff, but he's also like the Snickers commercial. You'd know him from that. So I'll see if I can find a picture of that. He was also in Fight Club. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, anyway, so I saw on his wall that he had something to do with this movie called The Chair. 
and um, and I was like, oh, that looks really freaking cool. And I saw that like Roddy Piper was the star of this movie. So I was like, oh my God, that's that's amazing. You know, can are there any auditions, you know, for this movie? So he was like, well, yeah, let me, um, I'll, I'll, I'll hand your information off to Peter Samedi, who is the creator of the chair. And uh, so that's kind of how it started. So I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. So I give my info to Peter and um, whatnot and have an audition and uh, sent him, I didn't really audition. I sent him my stuff, sent him the, uh, you know, the acting reel and all that kind of stuff and headshots and, and whatnot. And, and it was like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. So, so I was like, all right, well, we have this, this little part. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a guard. And uh, so you can be one of the guards with the guys. And, um, and I was like, all right, so I'm putting this together and going, okay. So I know Roddy Piper is the head guard. So if I'm one of the guards, I'm gonna be working with Roddy Piper, which turned out to be true. By the way, we're on a street called Lanewood. It is a, it's, it's the street in Hollywood that has these amazing, amazing pine trees. So it's, it's like, uh, you know, the, the enchanted forest of Hollywood. So, okay, anyway, where, where was I? So, that's where I was, eating coffee. So, so basically, I end up getting this part. His name is Bowen, uh, the, the, the guard. His name is Bowen, the part that I played in the chair. And um, so, the story goes on. So, so I'm cast as this, as this part. It's like, it, it started out as a small role. Um, Peter was like, well, Peter Samedi, the creator of the chair. So he's like, well, Kyle, um, you know, there's, I don't have any lines written for this part. Um, you know, you can do some, probably some improv, you know, kind of stuff. So I'll, that's how it starts. So in the beginning, it started as a part with no lines with all these people. By the way, who's in the chair? I have a link to this film in the description, by the way. Um, it's a horror film, and uh, I think it's one of Roddy Piper's best performances. So, <laughs> so I had no lines in the beginning, and we're going on, and, and I'm talking to Peter, you know, on a regular basis through Facebook and, and text message and all that kind of stuff. And um, it ends up that he had been talking to some producers in Hollywood who basically, you know, A-type personalities wanted to, you know, change the cast, do all kinds of other things, and, um, and, uh, and he didn't like any of them. So, so he's like, uh, he was asking me some questions about, you know, locations and do you know camera people and film people and sound people and, you know, all, all the things and locations and uh, did I say that already? But uh, so I kept answering his questions going like, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know all those things. And, um, and he's, he eventually said, well, uh, do you want to, do you want to produce it? And I'd never produced a film before. And I said, yeah. So. So I go from an actor with no lines in it to an actor that had a pretty pretty big part and producer of the film, so of the chair. So Roddy Piper, since that's what we're talking about, is everything that you would want him to be. He was the nicest, the nicest man, genuine. He took the time to talk to everybody. You know, just like just like you were old friends and uh, just a really, really super cool person. So there's a, I have an, an antidote, an anecdote that uh, I'll tell you a story we were shooting. Um, it's the how do I say this and how do I say this in a way that this video will still get played? OK. So there is a scene in the prison where the guards do bad things to an inmate. And uh, so it was all of us um, in this scene. It was um, me, Roddy Piper, Zach Galligan from uh, Gremlins, uh, Noah Hathaway, 
Derek Damien's. So we were all in this scene <laughs> and it's about to start. So this, uh, this scene where bad things happen to this inmate who's about to start. And Roddy, he like gets really quiet <laughs> and he looks around at all of us and he's like, people are gonna talk about this for a long time. And then we all started laughing because because we knew what was about to happen. And uh, so yeah, pretty famous scene. So it, it's a dark, dark horror film. So if you like horror film and you like psychological horror, then I definitely recommend it. It is one of Roddy's best performances. So yeah, you gotta check it out. Link is in, in the description. By the way, oh, this is, this is my shirt, Kyle's Film Garage. I hand screen these myself. So if you want one, I will hand screen it for you. And I have men's and women's cuts. So, you know, you can help keep this channel alive or join the channel or my Patreon or just subscribe and, you know, do the things, click like, maybe leave a comment, all that kind of stuff. And you can help support independent film. So, yeah. So where are we? We are right by the in and out Burger. And that's Hollywood High, right there. So, <laughs> so another story about Roddy. Okay, so <laughs> I am, being the producer in this, I, I had been running around with all kinds of errands and, and building the set and making things and getting stuff. And so my, my truck was a mess and uh, they had like just stuff all over it. And, um, and for some reason, Roddy needed a, a ride back to his apartment as uh, someone, I, I forget why, but anyway, so he needed a ride and I'm like, oh yeah, come on in, you know, l l let's go. So, <laughs> so he gets in, in the back seat and, and he's like looking at all of the garbage that's like in the, in my back seat. This is Roddy Piper in my truck, not expecting to have anyone in my truck. And, um, so he's like, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. My kids are like this. <laughs> and I was like, wow. All right. I just, Roddy Piper just totally told me, no, no, don't worry about the garbage. My kids are like this. <sighs> yeah, that's a moment that I, that I wish didn't happen. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Your car's a mess and, you, you, you know, somebody gets in it and, <laughs> and you're not expecting to have anyone in your car. And uh, yeah, so it, it, in fact, was a mess in the truck. And, uh, and I got called out by Roddy Piper on that, so cool. So I have a lot of stories about the chair and I will tell all those stories. This video is about Roddy Piper. Thank you so much for joining me on this and uh, click like, subscribe, join the channel, do all the things, keep independent film alive because the chair was an independent film. And um, it would not have happened if it was not for film fans and people that contributed to the Indiegogo and all of those contributions and people that joined in to help bought all the t-shirts and you know all those fundraisers and that's how indie gets made so Roddy Piper's last film was the chair and it would not have happened without film fans and without people that just wanted to keep Indy alive. So, so I appreciate you being here and, uh, and that's, that's what I'm all about. It's all about Indy. So if you can go in the link to su subscribe, do the things, join the channel, Patreon, you know, we're, we're still, we're still doing it. We're still making films. So you can support all there and I will see you on the next video.